Hello YouTube, this is Chad Silverstein with you guys. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember, in the last tutorial, we were able to start drawing and we were able to draw a triangle onto the screen. In this tutorial, we're going to be go diving a little bit deeper. We're going to start manipulating that triangle, manipulating some of the colors for so you see how easy it is doing it in Vulcan. And also, we're going to be replacing some of the hard code coded uh, code that we had to do in order to uh, draw the triangle in the, in a couple tutorials ago. So that's basically what we're going to do. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is show you. And let's see, show you what we're changing. As you can see, if we go back two tutorials ago, this is what the share frag looked like. And as you can see, this is pretty much hard coded in. And you're going to see the difference also with this one. And you can see it's got the color information and the vertex information already in the in the um, shader vert file itself. We're going to take this out and put it back into our file. So what we're going to do basically is if we go up again into where we were. Basically, we're going to do, this is going to be our new shader frag. As you can see, it's, it's a lot less tough there. And our new shader vert, vertex file. As you can see, all the information regarding vertices is gone, and information regarding colors are, is gone. So... And where did it go? Basically, this is where it went. This is the code uh, that we've been using. This is from Alexander's Overworld, Recorder, uh, VulcanTutorial.com. This is new. We're using the uh, Linear Algebra Library. We're also using Array, because we're including the Array because we'll be using Arrays. And then we also hear this, this is new, this new struct vertex um, that's no that was there before and also we brought back this to this this is the all the vertex information and this is the color information uh, we also added this create vertex buffer right there okay. everything else is the same and besides the function, of course, the create vertex buffer, which is right here. Uh, where is it? There it is. So it's this right here. Okay. Everything else is uh, basically the same code. If you go to the bottom of it, you go all the way to the bottom, you got your app, your main, and it's running the app like we've been doing. Okay, so now let's go forward, just in case you want to copy it. Keep going. I'm giving you some time, just in case some of you want to copy the code or want to Take a look more closely. And basically, viewports, create graphics panel, render pass, change views, swap chains, logical device. We've, been, we've done a lot in these tutorials doesn't seem like that but once you see how much code there's a lot here okay so now let's close it here let's see what we're going to do we're going to compile 
this guy because we changed it, so we have to we have to recompile them again. So the way we're going to do, if you remember from two tutorials ago, we're going to be using this batch in order to to compile using the GL SL Lang Validator executable that is in our SDK, and we're going to convert them into native code. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. And it's done. And there they are. It created this binary, this native code, and this native bytecode. If you want to look inside of it, you'll know that it's not human readable. It's just binary. Okay. So we're now we're going to move those inside the shaders directory that we created and to the shaders directory and there it is and now if we go into the shaders directory there it is and there's some more stuff there don't worry about that other stuff it shouldn't be there so let's take it out um, remove vertex frag I don't want to confuse you Vertex vert and that is clean now and now we can run it we can run, run our code and if we go let me just show you the make file really quick And this is the make file that we're using to execute. So close it, let make. It executes cleanly. It creates this binary. Let's run it. And there's our triangle. As you can see, it's got cyan, it's got magenta in this corner, and it's got a yellowish yellow. And that is because of the complements. That's why, as you can see, it's got the cyan right here, it's got the magenta, magenta right here, and then it's got the yellow right here. Because it's a, it's a white background, and what, I, what do I mean by a white background? This is what I mean by a white background. Uh, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to say it, a white background, but this is what I mean. Instead of black zeros, the intensity values are one. So that's what I mean by, by a white background. But if we change these guys, let's say, to a black background, and then I think I got them all, zero, 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 okay. Now let's run it again. And make, and then let's run it now again. So you can see, now it's, it's been the, that is a darker background. Now the colors completely changed. You know, you can see that instead of the all colors that we saw, instead of the cyan, now we see the red. Instead of the magenta, now we see the green. And instead of the yellow, now we see the blue. And basically, is uh, what's happening here is uh, basically think of these as being this vertex right here, as we saw it, and. Uh, it's basically one, zero, zero. 
and this vertex right here is uh, 0, 1, 0, and this one here is 0, 0, 1. Red, green, and blue. If you start changing this, you will get shades of different colors. Like, uh, and, and you know, a lot of you already know more about graphics than I do. So, but basically, this is how easy it is to, to change uh, the the properties, change the vertices, and change the color information uh, using Vulkan. And you and basically, they've they've given us a lot more control over a lot of uh, of the properties and how we want to manipulate our, our applications and, and, and what kind of information we can supply to our applications. But this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Take care.